It's up to us to take out Umbrella. Hello there you ghastly ghouls and ethereal beauties. Welcome to another Decapo First Look. Now I feel I need to preface today's video by setting a couple of things in stone regarding my feelings on this subject matter. Now these feelings are pretty blunt so feel free to get offended if you wish. I'm not going to lose any sleep about this one. Okay so point number one. What I believe happens after death is irrelevant to this video but what I believe certainly does not happen after death is someone's soul or presence or whatever word you want to use is left behind in an old house or creepy church with the sole purpose of frightening people and ruining people's lives. I mean come on, it's bullshit in its grandest form and is set out in such a scripted way in every occurrence that it's obviously something fabricated for the purpose of entertainment, manipulation and profit. I mean think about it like this. In the history of mankind, it's been estimated that there have been over 100 billion deaths. With 100 billion ghouls flying around, how come only such a tiny percent decide to come and haunt the living? And why do they only do it in perceptually scary places? They don't, is the simple answer. It's fiction created for idiots like us to watch and for them to make money off our stupidity. If there were that many pissed off souls flying around, they would be everywhere all the time. They'd be on the streets, in the skies, in the pub, climbing the Eiffel Tower, sitting in the back of your local McDonald's. Hell, why don't ghosts haunt people flying around in planes? There's nothing stopping them apart from the fact that it's all fiction and nobody's thought of that idea yet. Point number two. Um, this one might trigger a few people, but the fallacy that a living person can communicate with a dead person is one of the most offensive, manipulative and sickening notions that I've ever come across. And I feel that a person who can point blank lie to a grieving widow and tell them that they are actually communicating with that widow's husband is fundamentally fucking sick and you should be ashamed of yourself. Your profession is a twisted lie and you all need to jump in the fucking sea. Now, to be fair, the counter-argument may be that an inconsolable grieving widow just needed to hear something positive to help her grieve for her husband, which is fair enough, and a little white lie like, your husband is happy and is watching over you, is so generic and ambiguous that you can almost just assume it's true, and the lady might feel a thousand times better for hearing it. That's fair enough, grief is an unsightly beast. But to continue on to imply that you are having a direct conversation with her husband and telling that lady things that might actually alter the course of her life in some way because she believes that her husband would have wanted it is sick and manipulative and someone who can sit there and happily spew out this bullshit without an ounce of guilt or regret is sick in the head. Okay, so as a little side note before I continue, you would imagine that people who have these amazing godlike abilities would be born with them, passed down from generations of psychics, or cursed with the powers from a single unique source. Well, whilst doing my research for this section, I came across this. How do you become psychic? Well, obviously I expected the answer to be only the chosen are born with the skills of blah blah blah, but after clicking it, I learned that conveniently anyone can become psychic by simply practicing visualization, playing games, using crystals to open up the third eye, keeping a dream journal, meditating, and of course, setting the intention to receive guidance through your dreams. And if you don't know how to do that, well then, I really don't think you could out for this. Right, sorry about that, got a little bit serious for a minute, but it's over with now, so let's move on to what I'm guessing is going to be my favorite game of 2007. Get started. Okay, here we go. We have got Most Haunted. Um, let's just give it a go, I guess. Um, there's some interesting stuff in the extras. Um, how was it created? Basically, she tells you that her and her boyfriend made it up. Um, some frightening locations and what makes a good medium, which she just basically says being honest. Ironically. Anyway, how will play. At the beginning of the game, you'll be asked to select a house, which you will then work through. If you're playing in two-player mode, you will each select a different house. Your aim is to be the contestant who detects what happened, when, and to whom in the house. This will be tested in the final section of the game, where I will interview you to see if you have truly understood what took place. To do this, you Sounds will need exciting. to work through the five rooms, encountering different challenges in each room. Each room is represented by a symbol, so keep that. All right, get the point. Um, number of mediums, just one, just me and it. 
Where do we want to look at? Well, I'm from the northeast about here, so eh, let's head east. Taplow Mill, Melding Manor. I've never heard of any of these. Dreading Farm. Oh, Dreading Farm, that sounds uh, ominous. Okay, Dreading Farm. Nice little blueprint there. Welcome to Dreading Farm. Are we ready? Okay, so we've had appearances in room one. Let's click on it, I guess. Room one, medium, are you ready? Yes. We'll now show you two clips of footage taken from most haunted episodes. And you have to answer a question relating to it. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. Ready, guys? Ready for your first clip. <sighs> the figure of a man has been seen standing at the top of the stairs here in the display hall. Could it be the ghost of a young sergeant who's often been seen wandering endlessly around this part of the hangar, searching for his wreckage? I'm thinking fruit tea. It's fucking horrible. Which of the following are hung up on the back wall of the clip that you just saw, just seen? <sighs> I'm pretty sure it was propellers, but why? What function does that serve? I mean, what's that got to do with dead people being there? That's just a, it's, it's essentially a find the hidden item game, the cheapest form of game available. But uh, let's see what they've got. Shibby! Now for your second <coughs> clip. Okay, here we go. I guess he was, um... This game lags. It's obvious to say that when he hit the ground he was... You know, blown apart. Or at least dismembered. Did you just tap your foot on the floor, David? No. no. That's what? There's a tap it. under the floor. Oh. Oh, and again. That's a cough. What was David Wells wearing around his neck? Oh my Jesus, I honestly don't know. Let's assume a cross. Fuck, got it wrong, okay. Nice sound effect there of something dying. And once the camera catches up with whatever's going on. That's fine, go. good intuition. Well anyway. Is that because psychics don't have to be right all the time? Because they can just make it up. Right, room two. Spot the spook. I'm excited. Are you ready? Let's fucking go for it. In this round, you'll be asked to select the difference between two almost identical pictures. Scroll across the image on the right and select the area really? you think contains the difference. You'll have We're two sets spot of the difference. to spot, but remember, Spirits can move. Here's your first picture. Oh my god. Okay, let's have a look. It's hard with the light in my eyes, right. Mm, that looks more or less the same. It would help if the quality of the picture wasn't fucking dismal. There's one. Oh, it's just the one. Your second set of images are here. Thanks, babe. Uh, um, got a feeling it's going to have something to do with the wall, maybe? No. No. A deflated breast, perhaps? No. Uh, it's that brick, I believe. Buzz in. Let's do it. Oh, it's crashed. Brilliant. There's something special Fuck about it. you. I'd rather drink me Let's urine. see how you fare. Right, something special about me. So we're on to room three. 
So far, this has been a series of mini games. Um, Welcome to our multiple choice round. Oh, multiple Here choice we round. asked a range of questions about anything to do with the paranormal. Stay focused and select the answer. Just cut off there. We don't need the rest of that. Okay, so this is a bunch of mini games, none of which really have anything to do with the paranormal. Yes, they're questions about the paranormal, and they happen to be investigating paranormal whilst taking the photos for this game, but. What has this got to do with dead people, paranormal activity, anything? It's not. It's just a bunch of mini games. It's the epitome of what this is. It's just... It's fake. It's not real. It's just something to force out the people to try and entertain them for a little bit, try and get their money. It's bullshit. I mean, obviously... I didn't expect to be able to talk to a ghost or anything. That's impossible. Oh, what the fuck's this? Uh, fuck? Yeah. I mean, that was a question about actors. Time's ticking, but I can't see the question yet. There we go. Who played the male lead in Reanimator film series by H.P. Lovecraft? Um, Jeremy Combs? No. I don't know actors' names. Sorry, guy. Oh, got another one. Coming up soon. Oh, yeah. Invasion is another remake of the 1956 classic Invasion of the Body Statures. Name the Star Trek actor who appeared in the night. Oh my god, I don't fucking know. Nah. Oh! Ran out of time. It's just gonna keep giving me questions till I get one right. Understand this. So there's no score. Are you ready for your next set of questions? I guess. The Wicker Man. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid I don't know. Field. No. Not field apparently. No. Don't click because it happens again. Wow, this game is terrible. This is awful. I mean, I understand. Don't get me wrong. I understand that this is an interactive DVD game it's not uh, it's not a fully fledged game but the fact that it's based around the TV series Most Haunted seems completely irrelevant it's just a bunch of random games questions and it's I don't know it's just what's the point what is the point Apparently, we interact with psychic mediums in creepy castles, mysterious manners. Um, mysterious manners and some of the spookiest houses across the land. So, like, fair enough. Might be based there, but none of that stuff's happening. Do you know what I mean? That's like. Uh, I don't know the answer to this. I'm really thirsty, but this is disgusting. Harder than it looks, isn't it? I Sorry. Wow. This DVD is having a lot of trouble running on my PC. Nearly there. Nearly there, guys. I'm only playing one game of this, by the way. Audio taken from most haunted shows. All you have to do is answer a question. I'd rather chew off my own them. nutsack. The question could be about anything. So listen carefully. And tune your mind in. Ready? Let me get this one right. Okay, concentrate. Get in the middle of a busy town. So at night, you're going to get people walking past, making noises, women laughing. How on earth are we going to be able to do a, a proper investigation with all those other noises going on outside the building? Given that the. Uh, Just have to use Foley sound to make it up. That it's interaction with apparitions, even to the point of having a conversation with a, an apparition on the staircase, for example. There are other ones. What the fuck is this guy going on about? Is that it? Did I win? Oh. 
Okay, the game crashed. I clicked and got it correct. Wicked. Now. Oh, we'll just stop, stop a minute. Sorry, I'm just sensing, sensing some residual energy. That's we're in it. It's active energy. All right. Because it's stronger. Just as you said that, the uh, the y axis on this EMF meter went up. It went up by about. It went up by about. The DVD crashed again. Hey, I'm killing it. Doing really well here. I like when the game's not working. That was astounding. Could you be my next? Oh, this is really struggling now. Nearly there. Room five. I think it's on its way to break in, but we'll play it. So we'll play it to the end. We'll have one game. Right. Let's go. Part of being a successful medium requires the ability to work out Lie. what is going to happen in the future. In this round, you'll see two clips taken from one of our episodes, which will stop halfway through. You will then have to tell us. Just like that. Get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for your first clip. Yeah. Yeah, this game's fucked. This game is fucked. Can you tell what happens next? A vet loses balance and falls, an object flies past you, its head, the sound batteries suddenly go dead. Well, uh, it's crashed. Oh, well, the game just crashed. But we really don't care. This is awful. Oh my god. One player. South. Try and get through this one a bit quicker. Knapsack Tower, why not? Okay, let's go. Room one. Welcome to Knapsack Tower. Shut up, bitch. Tower. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. There we go. Start the game. Let's go. So, um, Yvette Fielding was one of the hosts of this show, um, some English bitch who uh, pretends she can see dead people, I guess. But the other main guy who did it was a guy called um, Derek Akora, um, some fucking scouse asshole who was just the least believable person you've ever fucking seen. Painful. I'll throw a clip on at the end. You have to answer a question relating to it so keep your eyes get ready the figure of a man has been seen standing at the top of the stairs here in the display hall could it be the ghost of a young sergeant who's often been seen wandering endlessly around this part of the hangar searching for his wreckage so I'm in a completely different building but we've still got the same fucking cutscene so what building you choose literally means nothing brilliant they were propellers, madam. Now for your second. I can see the same. I mean, it's obvious to say that when he hit the ground, he was, you know, blown apart. What was he wearing on his neck? Star and a fucking circle. Dismembered. Did you just tap your foot on the floor, David? No. What? Does it tap under the floor? Oh. I swear I never moved. I swear. You were with other like-minded people who believe that they can con contact the dead. Why would you need to swear that you didn't move? It's not like they don't believe you. They're there for the same reason you are. Did you tap your foot? No, I didn't. It's pretty weird. Not like, did you tap your foot? No, promise. Promise wasn't me. Promise it wasn't me. Look, your fingers aren't crossed or nothing. It's a ghost. Right. Fuck you, Derek. I mean, David. Okay. Is there a star in a circle? We'll 
See if you can. All right. I'm gonna see if I can find a game file towards the end of this shit. About um. old. It's brown. He's about forty. He's bald. It's too difficult to tell how old he is. Have you been able to sense which year this man was killed? The 1900s? 1905? 1908? Or 1914? What about the man is interesting, considering he was murdered? He's smiling and appears to be happy. He's holding a bloody axe. The reason for our confusion was obvious. The paranormal activity that had been reported wasn't concerning the ghost of a human. As we dug a little deeper, we found our story. There was a dispute over the land between Melding Manor and the neighboring estate. One evening, a group of men from the estate came up to- Right, that's enough of that shit. So, what's wanted the game? It's a piece of shit. It's a piece of turgid shit. Um, Yvette Fielding, don't get me wrong, she almost looks like she has a heart. She does a good job at that. She moves like a real person, she talks like a real person. The face looks like the, the face of a real person, but as we all know, there is only a solid lump of black fucking coal beating in her chest or not beating in her chest because of course she is happy to con people into thinking she can speak to dead people. There's not much more I can say about this game really without going into just a huge rant about how much I despise these people. Um, Sorry this video was a bit short, um, sorry it was a bit aggressive if you will, but I picked this up at a, a car boot sale um, and it was only like 50p or something, I'm surprised it uh, was even that expensive. But I wanted to give it a go just to see what it was like, this is a first look, I'd, I'd never played this before, um, as you can probably tell because it's practically fucking broken. Um, I wanted to play it just to see what what the gameplay would be. I knew it wasn't going to be a massively exciting game and I thought it might even be kind of educational, which it seems it might be in a fucking tiny way um, about history, not about fucking people coming from, uh, people talking to dead people or anything like that. That's, that's sort of shit. But, I don't know. The fact that it's just a bunch of mini games, which are not only loosely based on the show, but even more loosely based on paranormal activity. Do you know what I mean? It was it was a questionnaire. The questions I was answering a second ago were about which fucking actor played fucking whoever in The Wicker Man. Like, what's that got to do with with anything? Never mind just fucking Most Haunted. It's just, ugh. I'm sorry, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm not going to keep going on. Um, You've seen a side of me today, which I don't generally let out. It's the negative side, the aggressive side, um, the opinionated side. I mean, yeah, I'm opinionated, but normally I like to make it as fun as possible. Um, the only other thing I wanted to say is that I have a super awesome game uh, for the next Capital Plays episode, which I'll give you a little, little, little sneak peek there. But yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, another thing which I have, I do have some opinions about that as well. Um, but yeah, awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, or at least I hope it didn't make you hate me too much. Uh, if you are a psychic or that is your thing, then if that upset you, I'm sorry, but you know, that's how I feel. I mean, we can still be friends. I don't think you're you know, inherently a horrible person just for kind of believing in some of this stuff. Um, you know, that's cool, whatever. But if you are a psychic or medium, then you're probably not going to want to be my pal, which is sad because I'd like to know how me old budgie's doing. But I never will because uh, 
Nobody can communicate with the dead. Bye. Leave you. No, we won't leave you. No. <laughs> you don't scare me. <laughs>